Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today is about 10 days after the big storm that hit Western North Carolina. Debbie and I are heading up to our mountain house near Brevard to assess the damage. We just found out that the bridge has been temporarily restored so we are able to access where our place is. There's only one way in and one way out and it's across the bridge and from what we understand is during the storm the bridge was swept away. Uh, last week some local contractors got together and temporarily put a bridge in so we are able to go up and assess the damage and uh, we're going to look around and see what else we see in the area. Not going to go all over the place just really where we have to go and through what we have to go through but we'll try to share with you uh, what we see and hopefully everything will be good when we get there i really don't know what to expect but we'll be finding out shortly right now i'm at the north carolina welcome center on interstate 26 and uh, i'm gonna climb back in the truck and we'll go ahead and get on the road this is interstate 26, we're just now passing the Tryon exit, and so far everything looks fairly normal. There's not as many cars on the interstate today as usual. We just crossed over to Green River Gorge, and for quite a while now we have been noticing a lot of trees that at one time they were in the interstate. They've been cut back now. So far Interstate 26 is clear. Lots of trees that have been down. We're coming up on the exit 64 that goes to Bat Cave and Chimney Rock. And then to the left is into downtown Hendersonville. And we may take a look at that before we leave. survive but you can see the water definitely came up over it you can see the water light on those trees and also the mud over the bridge yes this was a sod field yeah this is a sod field and it's always this is very low it's not uncommon to see water standing in these fields you can see the bushes beside the road and see how far the mud came up and I thought that the fields were dead where the sod was, but actually it's mud. It's all covered in mud. We are traveling on Highway 280 towards Brevard and towards where you turn off to go to our place. And to be honest with you, here in this valley, Everything looks fairly normal over to the uh, right up at those mountains. That is uh, on the other side of that mountain is the Pisgah National Forest. But so far, so good. Here's where we turn off. Let's see if we're going to be surprised. work going on so maybe we'll get some electricity or maybe water and the bridge has been temporarily repaired it was a whole lot nicer than this though but all in all it's not bad yeah, at least we can get across it and of course it does not look the same anymore that was a neat little place to get in and swim or wade anyway. Come on, dude. It looks pretty rough. One of my 
my neighbors told me that these trailers down here have water up on them. I think there's some some aid there set up for the folks that live here. You can tell all of that was underwater. Ooh, this is a very rough road. Here's a good indication this trailer here it had a fence around it and you can see all those leaves that's what the fence stopped that's, so that's about how high the water was you can see up on that trailer it was at right at the floor line on that trailer down at the uh bottom of the hill that we just drove through it's a little neighborhood that you have to go through to get to our place now we are climbing the mountain and the road's always been bad but it's really bad now well I doubt very seriously we have any power because all these power lines are down like it won't be long and we'll get electrified up on the mountain. We are in Hendersonville now. This is the area that was all flooded. This little creek, you can see the dirt up on the ditch bank. But other than that, it looks pretty well, pretty well back to normal. We are in Flat Rock, and look at this creek. Going through Flat Rock, just look at all these trees that was over in the road broke off light poles. We just came by a bucket truck that was stuck in the mud. It looks like some water come down through there. Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of water came down through there. And it's still coming. Now we are on road headed to Saluda highway 176 you see a lot of destruction here and the power lines lots of trees were down it's a little twist and turning mountain road and we're running next to a creek so that is probably where a lot of problems happened Coming into the little small town of Saluda. And Saluda is a beautiful little mountain town. Let's see what kind of 
destruction they have. Yeah, one of the oldest general stores in North Carolina. Lots of mud there. Yeah. Saluda. Well, looks good so far. There's North Carolina's oldest general store still in operation. For the most part, it looks like Saluda was spared, or the downtown portion. Now we're headed over to Tryon now, and already we're seeing a lot of trees that have been down. if we see what's around the corner here I'm not gonna drive so we'll get out and walk a little bit This was a very beautiful drive. I've been here before, back before the storm. Let's see what this creek and the rain and the floods did. I'm gonna walk just a little bit farther up to this next curve. I think there's a bridge here.
That is going to be a wrap for our trip to our mountain house and through some of the western North Carolina mountains. Right now I'm between Saluda and Tryon, North Carolina. This road is closed. There's no way you can drive a vehicle down it now. And it's kind of easy to understand why. I will tell you that this was a beautiful drive back before the storm. And hopefully one day it will be again. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share with your family and friends. And if you hadn't yet subscribed, please do so if you will, please. And also ring that bell so you'll be notified every time we put a video out, which is always on Mondays and Fridays and sometime in between. But for now, y'all have a good day.